Chris and I, besides out here having a dance party in the sun, uh, we're super excited to bring to you some terrific toy haulers. And this beauty right here is the Impact 415. Dude, Keystone and Fusion know what they're doing. And with the Impact, what you got is you got a 44 foot beauty, Mm -hmm. 13,888 pounds with a 15 foot garage. And for those folks that are looking for like the first fifth wheel toy hauler, yeah. that don't want to go full blown fusion, right. they, you know, they want to play a little bit of a less price tag. This is a great entry level, but you still get all those amenities that Keystone's known oh. for quality and construction. Absolutely gorgeous. A ton of amenities and features oh, in here, yeah. including three ACs. Three, yeah, the Omni Chill. The Omni Chill. The three quarter ton AC. I mean, it's one of those things where if, if you think about, okay, what do you use a toy hauler for? Well, they're the most versatile RV on the market. Agreed. If you need storage space to sleep in space, this is what you're going to go. Yep. But you're probably going to be tailgating. You might be going to some races. You might be in races. You might have kids who do motocross. Yep. You might be doing the golf tour. You're probably going to be places that's going to need some cooler climate on the inside because of where you were outside. Exactly. That's, dude, perfect. With, yeah. that, with that Keystone insulation that you got, the yep. aluminum frame, I mean, dude, that foam core insulation, rated zero to 100 degrees, and, and it's got a one-piece polypropylene belly. The underbelly. The mm -hmm. underbelly that's heated and closed, too. So, I, I, what else do you need? Well, that's exactly it. You go what on a ski need? trip and it's cold, you're good to go. Yeah. If somewhere that's a little bit warmer, well, that's what the party deck is for. Oh, absolutely. Get to hang out right out here. This is where you get to hold court. This is where you get to dance. I mean, the game's over. You got the mountains in the background. You're telling that's everybody gorgeous. about how happy you are Tom Brady's retiring, <laughs> how Green Bay is the toilet paper capital of the world, which is fitting <laughs> for how they play. And <laughs> the party deck is great. You got a 1,500-pound yes. max load capacity when it's in the party deck. You got the netting around it, 3,500-pound load capacity on it. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, dude. And then you walk in, you got the little beaver tail, and, dovetail, whatever you want to call it. And when we do walk in, Chris, we're yeah. looking at a 15-foot garage oh, on here. Oh, good grief, yeah. You know, and that's that, for people that have like the side-by-sides, which for the record, I love. Yeah. Is, that, is that your measure? Is that your yeah, I was, I was trying to do the I was trying to do the T-Rex arm on one side and then the Chris <laughs> arm on it. And I'm like, okay, can I get my side-by-side -side in? Because if you think about it, that's that's about the length. Yeah, but that, the width. That, that's perfect. <laughs> about the width. And then if we put both of our powers combined. That's right. We there still, it is. We there still, it is. still have. We Still, space. still got space. Yeah, uh, and, and that's but that's what you know. That really, you need like 13, a little over 13 foot for most side by sides. Being that 15 yeah. foot, I really like because you get all the space you need plus a little bit extra. Yeah, you do. And what what they've done with the impact is you get this floor which mm -hmm. is which is rubberized, so it's yep. oil and gas resistant. But more importantly than that, if you are using it for kids for space, this is way less damaging to knees, legs, and falls yes. than some of those diamond plated floors. So this yep. to me, I, I think, is a nice upgrade especially for those folks that want to get a toy hauler for family well and, and that's a great point because like you said just because it's a toy hauler doesn't necessarily mean you need side-by-side yeah. -side quads motorcycles anything else this is a great space for pa family you can put down like you know like the foam play mats yeah. you can put down a bunch of stuff back here yeah. so you get this wide open space that in a lot of floor plans you just don't have you don't have yeah and you got opposing couches right here which we have yes. up into the sides because we wanted you to see the garage space yep but these come down they oppose you got a table that'll fit right in the middle you got a bunk up above so you technically yep. have two full-size beds as bunks yep so if you need the additional sleeping space or the kids entertaining space like you're talking about correct this is it right here all on that chain drive system which I, I am a fan of yeah oh absolutely the happy jack system is fantastic mm -hmm. um, another thing that's it's worth mentioning Chris is if you don't want to store the sofas on the side if you need a little extra width you can flip both of those up so yes. they're right underneath that bed too so you get you have an option you can get more width or more height yeah and since this, this thing is a I mean this is a, it, it's a Bertha it's, it's a hundred inch <laughs> wide body on the outside. You've yep. got good space inside here. Throwing that, we got the, the you know the metal ram air vents mm -hmm. uh, on both sides. Yeah, you yeah, have one on the bottom, one on the top over here. You have the frame welded D-rings. Yes, good yep. tie downs there. Good, and you know what? I like how they have it spaced out. Although the regular fusions do have that adjust to track system. Sure. I am a little bit more of a fan of that, especially if I'm hauling toys. Well, right. Well, but, but Just again, you know, when you start to step into the fusion, it's it, you're going to have it's some more amenities, and it's a different price point. It is a different. You know, price I point. mean, you're you're definitely moving up a level for sure. Yeah. And that's but see that's why 
all about the impact is you're still getting a ton of great amenities yeah. as you can see here and we'll definitely see when we go into the living space mm -hmm. and it's going to be for a lot of people something that's going to be a little bit more budget friendly. Yeah, I mean th th this is a great entry level for the fifth wheel. I 100%. mean, this segment's all about the terrific toy hauler so we do have another one coming up, you know, if you're looking for a travel trailer. Yep. But this one right here, it practically a separate living space. You got storage up here, solid wood construction, decorative, mushroom lights, and I got two doors, but well, I don't know why. Well, because <laughs> we say separate living space, I absolutely agree. And I think this is oh. a huge part of that. Oh. And that's to, to have the half bath right back here. Get on in there, kid. Yeah, yeah I, I, th I think that's definitely a, a huge bonus for me. We Again, we talk about the kids having their own space. Yes. And right back here, you have that. And they can, uh, you know, if they have to use the bathroom, boom, there it is. They can use the bathroom. And even if they're coming in from outside, they can come in, be all over this. It's easy to yep. clean easy up, to like clean. we spray said. Spray it off. Exactly. Spray yeah. it off, boom, you're good to go. Wow. Washer, washer dryer, dryer. Yep. yep. GFCI outlet, got my own controls there. I got my key TV multi-source connection. Mm -hmm. GFCI outlet there. Plus I got the window if I want to let in a breeze with the pull down suspension shade. Yeah, this is this could be a separate living space. So to your point about not having to worry about hauling toys, if you wanted to, great. If not, great. Well, it's a great living space down here back here. Should we go see the rest? Let's go check out the living space in here. Let's do it. I like the solid door. Ooh, I like the inlay here, and yeah. oh, wow. Now you're talking. Right? Now, this is my getaway mountain cabin right here. I mean, Ooh. you you say entry level, Chris, but nothing about this looks entry level. It really me. doesn't. It I really mean, you, does it? And, and that's the great thing about the impact is mm -hmm. you're as we said, we're getting those features. You get the beautiful entertainment system, the fireplace. Yeah. Yes, that is kicking out heat, helping to warm this space up. Yep. As my good that's friend right. Chris Young always likes to say about the fireplace, Chris knocks the chill off the air when you need it. I'm telling you, it's great. Knocks it right out. <laughs> you got good storage space too, hideaway hinges, uh, and you got the bunk up there. Yes. So good hideaway spot, super high slides because it's his full profile. And of I like course. how we got the Jensen speakers mounted in there too. Those things thump. Yeah, that's a big part of kind of the, the toy hauler totally. lifestyle, it if you is. will, right? Let's get some upgraded speakers in here. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, let me get my barbed wire tattoo out. <laughs> Roll with my rock and roll, baby. I got my roll, roll the sleeves That's up. Right, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I put my, my pack of smokes in there. Roll them up. <laughs> now, the other thing I like about what they do with toy haulers, yeah, is a lot of times you get these oversized couches. Yes. Um, you know, two recline. This one's got heat and massage on the end. Um, I do like the Thomas Paine, the plush, you know, the leatherette kind of style and feel. Yeah. But Boom. they also got the fold down. So if you need an eating space, you do have the little tables that you know clip into the ends there. But yes, power charging, cup holders. And of course, the stools. The stools. Yes. You got a bar spot here. This, this is really cool. This is something that I first, uh, Keystone was the first one that I've seen to have these. Yeah. And I think they're fantastic. When I first saw it, I'm like, there is no way this is going to support right. this big old booty. But when I sit on it, you're fine. And you, and you fine. look good sitting there. Huh. You look like you're kind of suspended Thank in you, space. Sir. I mean, I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> and the U-shaped uh, kitchen here, too. Yeah. And, you know, once again, kind of maximizing the space. We got the pressed surface countertop here, mm -hmm. undermounted sink, high-rise faucet, Furion <laughs> oven, and I see we got a drawer down there for pots and pans. And, dude, this is right on time. And I also want to mention that is a GFCI outlet over there, but yeah. uh, kind of more importantly is the fact that that is, uh, has the inverter prep. So, you know, this one has the Solar Flex 200i, but as we know, you can upgrade that to the 400 or the 600, 600 with lithium. Yes. And so with that, you can also get the inverter. So that way some of these outlets are inverted. That loop is already built in, which is huge I for people that. that are looking to go a little more off grid. Yeah. And if you want to have the power to go off grid, having the solar flex, that to me put Keystone, you know, head and shoulders above what a lot of other manufacturers were doing. For so, sure. Great. Yeah. The fact that they throw that Norcold four door in there is nice too. That joke. Look at that. Is this an 18er? Yes, sir. Oh, man. You can oh. demand the bear if, if you can open it. Can you, yep. ah, just give it up. Just give it up. We're done. Up. We're done. Anyway, <laughs> butterfingers over there. Anyway, <laughs> uh, but yeah, plenty of space there. Nice and big. Gotta love it. You have to have a lot of cold storage with all your other storage. We saw all the kitchen mm -hmm. storage here. And again, that's perfect for the cold storage. I like how over here by the entertainment center, too, yeah. we have our, our gin start, our yeah. gin panel. Yep. Nice I'll, and easy to get nice to. Nice and easy to get to. I like that. Access, you know, form, function. And beauty, man, they're mixing it with the impact. One of my, one of my favorite parts are, Chris. What's up? The <laughs> bottle opener. Oh. For, for my bottles of Coca-Cola oh. that are ice cold, of course. How handy is that to have I'm right there? I'm telling oh, you. I love it. Yeah, you got to get, see, because I, I, I do the uh, secret. 
the ginger ale? Yes. Nice. Love it. This is another one, too. This one has your on-demand water heater. Nice. Uh, you know, if you've got a lot of people, like we talked about, this is great for a family. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you, but my teenage son takes like three hours in the shower, I swear. Yep. yep. Uh, yep, yep, yep. So with this, you know, they can actually spend some time in there. It's not the old school, what my dad would call the military shower, when yes. we shut the water off. You know, and then you lather up and then turn it back on. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> you got, I mean, in this one, you know, once again, 44 feet, yeah. 13,888 pounds. Uh, but yeah, this shower, I really like the solid, the, the, the glass inlay here and the corner. I even got the corner notches, the nozzle, plenty of headroom, plenty of space. Porcelain bowl, good space over there. Plus, I got the medicine cabinet and the fan, and what we got in the bedroom, man. Oh, buddy. So, when you come into the bedroom, walk around queen bed. Again, inverted outlet. So, if you have a CPAP machine and you're boondocking it, you're good to go. Slide out wardrobe. Wardrobe. You have the uh, spot for a TV, and that is going to be an inverted outlet there, too. And even my good friend, Chris Young, who is like seven foot tall, uh -huh. uh, can stand yep. in here, no problem. On good days. I'm, yeah, I'm not hitting my head on this. Is this the blade distribution system? I'm not not hitting my head on that. 30% more effectiveness when it comes to cooling this thing down with the Omni Chill AC, dude. I just I just want to mention I'm taller than Chris right now. Yes, you are. Mm. I, I think you are anyway. I think you're lying <laughs> about six feet. I, I, I think you're six four on a good day. Dude, love it. Absolutely love it. All right, so the inside of the Fusion Impact 415, beautiful. What do you say we go check out the outside? Let's roll. Let's do it. <laughs> Man, oh, with that fireplace, man. I hate actually leaving out here and walking into the cold. Well, <laughs> the other nice thing about that fireplace, too, though, Chris, is, mm -hmm. you know, up front on this bad boy, we got a 5,500 watt Jenny. Woo! So if we want to, we can fire that sucker up and you can still run that fireplace. Absolutely, we can and run the heater. Man, <laughs> yes, I'd sir. Because you got a 35K BTU furnace on this one. And once again, this is the Keystone Fusion Impact 415, 44 feet long. You're looking at 13,888 pounds. You got a 94 gallon fresh tank and yep. dual 88s on the gray and black. Yeah, taking a look inside. Giggy box. <laughs> yes, uh, I prefer to call it a 12 volt distribution box, but oh. I, 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 it is that is the the name they give it. The giggy it, box. The, the giggy box. Yeah. Which I, I don't know. It's just a. I didn't come up with it. I just laugh at it. <laughs> and you know what? Keystone. You know, any manufacturer. Here's the deal. You know us by now. You know if you're gonna put some name on something. You know we're gonna make fun of, okay? <laughs> Just you know, because look, it's it's funny to us. Hopefully, it's funny to somebody else. Yeah, but yeah. You never know. <laughs> you can also see the uh, the solar controller right yeah. in there. And, and as we said, you know, this one comes with the 200, which is what we got. But you can upgrade that for a little more solar up top. So 200 watts currently, you can upgrade that to the 400 or the 600. Wow, nice big awning. Plus, we got a 30 gallon fuel tank on this one, 12 volt pump to help get the fuel out of there. Yes. Uh, just, dude, just beautiful. Gorgeous entry, triple axle. Triple axle, dude, those are 16 inch. Yeah, take a look at those wheels. suckers. Those things are massive. Man, All right, buddy, but I'll tell you what, man. This thing right here is absolutely gorgeous. This yes. is the Fusion Impact 415, Love. but what about for someone that's looking for something a little bit smaller? If you're looking for a little bit of a smaller toy hauler, wait until you see what we got coming up for you next. Travel trailer, hang on. Alaska. Hi, my name is Russell Winfield, former professional snowboarder from Seattle, Washington. I was the first black African-American pro snowboarder ever. And uh, the thing about being the first is that you don't have anybody before you that can help you. But now, what I'm doing, I'm trying to help younger kids. I can give them my experience. Hey, what's going on, man? How are you? So yeah, let's go check this thing out. I have brought along one of my best friends, Leif Jones, and the princess herself, Caitlin Fountain. <laughs> So this trip is the quintessential Northwest spring road trip. All right, guys, here we are. Good old heart coffee. The RV allows you to get to know people in close proximity. And you can go to cool places. You can have conversations on the road trip. Shred ready. Shred ready. ready. It just builds memory, you know, good memories. And that's important. Caffeinated, we're gonna get to the shred. The shred is important. It's good up here, people. Let's get it. Woo! Well, 
Looks like we made it, Mount Bachelor. Yeah, let's put you guys in comfort mode. Thanks. I feel like these things are magical. These are, it's like a magic carpet. You get in this thing and you kind of shut everything else outside world away. We drink some coffee. Love some. You get to just uh, focus on relationships with your friends and yourself. Pretty cool. Been riding the best mountains ever. <laughs> Trips like this are super important because snowboarding became popular because of the culture around it. Hey, let's go. You get done with a trip with your buds in an RV, and you're just closer to each other. And you've got crazy memories yes. that aren't ever going to leave. Woo! And that's <laughs> what I call for the win. All right, big dog. Yes. It's all about the terrific toy haulers in this segment. I thought it was all about your scarf. You know what? So does it, so does this make me look more distinguished? It makes you. It does. I'm, and I, the glasses. Here, here's my favorite thing, Chris. Okay. Is this? All right. All right. What I say? Yes. See, but you look like going from Clark Kent to Superman. <laughs> I look like. I just, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting booked downtown when I take mine off. That's what it looks like. This is not fair. I, now I can see you, though, and I got to tell you, your skin is amazing. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah. It's the natural Hawaiian oil. <laughs> is that what it is? Because it looks I think good. So. Yeah, I need to move to the islands. Then. <laughs> if you've been thinking about a toy hauler, yes. <laughs> let me tell you. So we showed you, well, and, I, and I mentioned this, if you're looking for that entry level fifth wheel toy hauler, yeah. I think the Fusion Impact's a great option. I agree. If you're looking for an entry level, your first toy hauler travel trailer, the Heartland Pioneer is a great place to start. Yeah. Now, the one we're going to be showing you today is the RG27. It's 32 feet, 3 inches, roughly 6,500 pounds dry, with a 13 and a half foot garage in it. But that's it. I mean, you're looking at half ton capable. Yep. Which, you know, a lot of fifth wheels, especially if you're a triple axle, you're not yeah, going to get that. No, not at all. <laughs> so so this is something that's going to be a little bit more manageable by yep. a lot of people yep. and still has plenty of space inside. It does. And it's still versatile enough that if you need storage space, you need sleeping space. It's, it's one of those things where you can't go wrong with a toy hauler no matter what you do. If you can't make up your mind on a floor plan, a toy hauler is a great substitution yep. because you will get that versatility of space and storage. Now, this one, just like most toy haulers, you'll get the door that has the party deck on it. It's got the 1,500 pound load capacity, 30 or 1,500 pound party deck capacity. Well, well hold on, hold oh, on. Okay. When you say most have the party, that's not necessarily true. True, true, At true. this price point, oh, yeah, the fact true. that it has the party deck is actually pretty darn impressive in my book. Yeah, that's true. Because a, a lot of times, you know, if you're looking at entry level, you don't get that. And I think that's a big, for me anyway. That's a huge I, bonus. I, I, I think that's a huge bonus to the Pioneer. It is, because you get a chance to just, because I, I jokingly talk about it. Yeah. But I have taken a toy hauler and pulled up to the pond and fished off the back of it. It is so much fun. I bet it is. I and my kids fantastic. love it. Yeah, my kids absolutely love it. So if you, there's so many options. That's just yeah. what we're getting at. Versatility, form, function, and with Heartland, you're gonna get a well-made RV, yep. entry level, starting point. If you're looking to dip your toe into RV waters, this is it. Well, and Chris, I'm actually glad you bring that up too, though, because we talk about toy haulers and so many options out there, because there are. Yeah. That's what I love about working for who we work for and working for Camping World because yeah. we have so many different options. We do. And they're going to be available on your lot. Yeah. I mean, you can, you'll can you find a, a Pioneer toy hauler just about every lot across yeah, the U.S. Pretty much. So if you're liking <laughs> what you're seeing, your chances are you're going to find one. And the best part, if you get it from Camping World, let's say, you know, you start here in Utah and you decide to go camping down in Texas, there's going to be a Camping World near you. We've got over 185 across the country, over 45,000 RVs on the lot right now. Yep. If you buy from the competition, Chances are, number one, you're going to be getting an order form. You're not actually going to be getting that unit. And then That's number true. two, if you do go camping somewhere, are they going to have a location where if something happens, you can take it in? I mean, And do they have right good there. Sam? Service. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Right there. Right there. Service. <laughs> I mean, it, you're never too far away from a camping world because we are the largest network of family dealers you're going to find anywhere in the world. That's and right. With this Heartland Pioneer, I do like what they did with the, with the uh, graphics, this, you know, because a couple of years ago, everything was brown on brown. Yes. You remember that? I do. Not a fan. No, I, I agree. Totally I agree. not a fan. Now we got the gray with the blue and the black accents yeah. on the white. You yep. got those sealed safety windows tinted. You got the marine grade speakers outside, LED light strip under the awning. 
and power stabilizer jacks. Yes, sir. And one of the things I always like to point out, Chris, is on this, on the RG27, mm -hmm. you have this huge awning. And what you'll notice is that there's not a slide here. There's not any vents on this side. Right. So this is great usable camp space. And if you want TV, it's exactly where you want it. I mean, well, you yeah. can set up all your chairs right here. You have the awning coverage. You don't have to worry about putting a chair up against uh, the RV and having a right. vent catch it on fire right. or anything right. like that. Right. You are good to go. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Yep, I got the power out there. I got steel fold up steps. I got steel rims on my tires. Yep. And, you know, with, with Heartland, one of their big things is storage. They expanded the space uh, and they got King Kong size storage. So you yes. got either wider or taller or both, lo uh, you know, load in doors. And just look at the size of the clearance that we have here in our storage compartment. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, that, that is a, a very large storage area, which you want. I mean, yeah. of course, with the toy hauler, you have the garage for a lot of your bigger items like bikes and big coolers and things like that. Yeah. But, you know, if you have some camping chairs or grills, you still have a large enough door to fit them in there. To fit the, and it's finished off. Yeah. So it's not just rattling around back there. Exactly. Plus, we got the diamond plated rye guard. And since it is yep. a Harlan Pioneer, you got that hybrid aluminum front profile, which kind of helps with the tongue weight, reduces it a little bit. It is aerodynamic. 20 yeah. pound LP tanks and power, power, power tongue, tongue jack. jack. You got it. Yep. For, for entry level, dude? Exactly. Exactly. I mean, it's it's value. This is an absolute value RV that if you've been looking to get the best bang for your buck, first time out the gate, somebody says, man, we, we can't figure out what floor plan we want, but we need some space. We need some versatility. Point him in the direction of this one right here. Well, what do you say we go inside and show him that space? Yeah, let's, let's check it out. All right. Summer oh, night. baby. <laughs> So, Chris, okay. one of the things you'll see right away, mm -hmm. again, that really impressed me, we talk about entry level. Yep. Solid surface countertops. Solid surface countertops. That's something Pioneer went to throughout the entire line. Yeah. And I, I, I am so happy they did. Well, you, and you know, it's funny. They, they call it their Master Chef inspired kitchen. Mm -hmm. And I, I like what they did because it allows you to, you have a good, clean surface. It looks good. Yep. It adds a little bit more durability, but it allows you to have the undermount sink. It, it, that's exactly right. Yes. So you get that durability. You get the beautiful look. It has like a little speckle in there. Yep. Undermount double bowl. Love it. Just adds it, it adds that more of a home aesthetic to it. For sure. I like that. Plus, we got the little uh, spot right here for the TV with the HDMI cable. HDMI, Chris. That's pretty cool. Yeah, HD <laughs> hey, HDMI, I'm still using the S cable. You remember that one? <laughs> I'm still using that at home. People pick on me about that. They even put frosted glass over here in some of the storage cabinets. We got the IRV Technologies Command Center. Yep. I like it because it's dual zone. Yeah. Plenty of good storage. Well, and the thing I like about this too, if, if you know me, you know that there's enough space for a trash can, and that's yep. a big one for me. Yep. There's, there's nothing I hate more than having my trash bag having to hang on a pole. I yep. just don't like it. I like how they took the carpet out of the slide too. Yes, yes. That was something else. Uh, I think it was last year uh, for the Pioneer they did it. But yes, they removed carpet, went to the nice nylon weave, marine grade. Uh, super, super easy to clean up, and you still get, you know, basically a, a flush floor slide here. Yeah, prep space, storage. You got the suburban yeah. three burner cooktop, flush mounted mm -hmm. with the oven and the microwave up top. Yep. I mean, for for a space, yes, sir, that has versatility. Mm -hmm. I got a living area if I need it. I got mm -hmm. a dining area if I need it. I got yes. a separate bedroom if I need it. I got a storage unit if I need it because this is the 13 foot five inch garage. Yep. I got you know D-ring tie downs all over the place, 1,200 pound capacity on those. Add to the fact that we now have these swivel recliners. Yes. I've seen people take them outside and use them outside at the campsite. Oh, they're, they're actually shockingly comfortable. Yeah. I, I, you know, for, I don't know if you've ever sat in the European recliners before, if people watching have, but they are, I don't know, you can kind of, this is, this is what I like about them. I don't know if it's like my ADD or what, but I just sit here and do this constantly. Yeah. And, and you can get like a mini rock motion and I just, I enjoy it. It's nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want, if you're watching TV, if you're talking, I mean, you got to, you got a, uh, there's just a 13.5 Coleman mock there. Plus you got yeah. a 30,000 BTU furnace in here. Um, I mean, dude. You, you know, one of the things you said a little bit ago that I actually want to bring it back to, um, mm -hmm. we talk about versatility and, and you're absolutely right. A lot of people don't think about this, but this is, essentially can be a utility trailer, right? Yeah, like, like let's say uh, your kid is going to college and you need to help him move stuff. You can load this up with a mattress. You can load it up with a dresser. Everything you need, you got the tie downs. You got tie downs, yeah. I mean, people don't think about that. No, they do. That's a great point. And we got the load bay too, with the you know the dovetail down there. Exactly. 
That's actually a really good point. I never thought about either. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it just it has so much versatility with the things you can do to it, especially when you know you talk about a travel trailer, something that's entry level, affordable. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're getting you know the ability to have uh, your golf cart. You're getting the ability to sleep a bunch of people. If you like to entertain, you have a massive table. That's a great table. Where you can yeah, you can easily fit six people here, play games, eat yep. meals together. You have the utility trailer. I mean, it just. It really can do so incredibly much, which is why I just love toy haulers. And you know, the thing about it is, is RVs exploded a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. People realized that this was the best way to get out and see America the safest way possible. Yeah. And, and you know, the funny thing is we've been talking about it for a while. You for, for sure. way longer than I have. Um, but people don't realize it until later on down the road. When you're in your RV and you're taking your kids places or you're just going somewhere with a loved one or you're using it, you know what, I've always wanted to go see X, Y, and Z and it's too expensive for a plane ticket, it's too expensive for a hotel ticket. You're making these memories they are gonna last a lifetime. Absolutely. And these coaches, some might be generational, some might not be generational. But if you've never done it, yeah, this, this is an investment that will pay so much more return oh, in lifestyle dividends. improvement. Because your kids are going to love it, your loved one's going to love it, and you're going to love it. Well, I'll tell you this, Chris. When you know, I think about uh, my, my middle daughter, she's six, I can guarantee that in two years, mm -hmm. if I ask her what she watched on a tablet one day in the summer, not going to have a clue. Right. If I ask her about that camping trip she went on, you know she's going to have those memories. Yep. I but, mean, that, that's what it's all about, buddy. Yep. It is. You're right. My my kids have asked me twice over the holidays, are we going to take the, the 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 RV, the Class C, yeah. back down to Hatteras? Because we did that. I took them down there for oh, a week. I've over heard the good things. It's great. It's so awesome, dude. But there's so many great places like up here in the Northwest. Yeah. Like, do you know South Dakota has more shoreline than the entire state of Florida? Really? Yes. And in Colorado, hmm. there's nine thousand miles of fishable streams. That actually is impressive. Utah. Every county in the state of Utah either has part or has part of a national park in the county. There are so really? many, yeah, there's so many things to do, so many places to go see. We talk about Garden of the Gods, we talk about, you know, the fire garden, you know, all this stuff. There are so many things you can do inside an RV. Yeah. And if you try to go the traditional way of traveling with an airplane and getting a hotel, <laughs> you can't go to a state park and, and there's no hotel in the state park. Yeah. There's no hotel on the riverside. <laughs> You think you go fish out the seventeenth floor of a Hampton? <laughs> What's wrong with y'all? You lay down the back of that toy hauler, fish off the back. Yes, sir. Fish off the back. That, that, now, that's, a, that's a great point. There are, gosh, there's so many beautiful things to so see in the great U.S. To do. All right, RG27. Head on in mold. there. Look at it. I got the little. Oh, I got the shower surround. Now, as my buddy Ian talks about being six foot, which I think he's a little more than six foot. Uh, I'm 6'2". I am a little cramped in here, but it's still not bad. I can still get everything done I need done, but if you're Tom Brady or Ben Roethlisberger, you're not going to fit, which I know you guys are looking for jobs. That's why I'm calling you out. <laughs> Sinks, countertop, and then I'm going to close this so you and Kev can go down there to the, oh, to the bedroom for me. in the bedroom with me, Kev. So as we... That's a weird thing to say. As we make our <laughs> way into the bedroom, though, uh, what you will see is the queen bed. And the thing I really like about this, the way they set it up, is in your wardrobe, you have this kind of like little cubby hole here. So if you have a CPAP machine like myself, yes, I use one because I have sleep apnea and I don't want to die of a heart attack and I like actually feeling rested. Uh, this is where you can put it and you can have all your cords and everything come through if your phone rings. <laughs> That, that's great too. I mean, look at Chris, right? Dude's like eight foot tall. He's sitting here, passed out, having a good old time. Plenty of space for him. And if he wants to watch TV, he can do that. Plus, there is plenty of room for all of his clothes right in there. This is an absolutely fantastic toy hauler, folks. One may even say a terrific toy hauler. So if you're looking for something entry level, the Pioneer RG27 is definitely up there. My man Chris is going to take a nap. I'm going to go out back. <laughs> <laughs>